we know that each process has its own page table and there is an entry for each logical page. So rather than each process having its own page table and keeping track of all the, its logical pages, what we can do is use the inverted page table and now we are going to track the page frames. So this was the earlier case. There was a page table for process 1, a page table for process 2 and so on. Each process was having its own page table. Let's assume there were only a total of 8 pages in the logical address space. That means the page table would have 8 entries, one for each logical page and this each page which frame it has been mapped to that information would be available in the page table. Similarly for page table for P2, there are again 8 entries for the 8 pages and this would give the frame that it had been mapped to. Now rather than having a separate page table for each process, what we can do is we can have an inverted page table. This now is going to keep track of the frames which are available in the physical memory. So let's assume there were only 6 frames in the physical memory. So that means now there will be 6 entries in the inverted page table. Now this process P1 can also put a page in the physical memory. This process P2 can also put in the, a page in the physical memory frame. So how would the system know that a particular page belongs to which process? That means now the entry over there would have to be stored along with the information about the process that owns that page. So each entry for each frame of the memory will all consist of the virtual address of the page along with the process information. And now rather than having one page table for each different process, there will be only one page table in the system which will be the inverted page table. So here as you can see that to, if you look at this page table for process 1, it is showing you that page 0 of process 1 has been put in frame 4. So if you look at this inverted page table now, if these are the frames, then you can see that frame 4 has page 0 of process 1. So we have the process ID over here and the virtual page number over here. Similarly, you can see that for frame 2, there is page 0 of process 2. So if you see over here, process 2, page 0 of process 2 has been put in frame 2. So this way, rather than having separate page tables, which is the standard way of using page tables. We can use an inverted page table, which will only have information about all the frames in the system. So now how will the address translation take place? So the CPU is generating the logical address. Now this is containing the process ID, the page number, the virtual page number and the offset. Now this process ID will be used to map into the page table. So there will be a search to check where this process ID is available. So if you look at this inverted page table, the process ID is here. We have to check the entries over here to figure out where that process ID is available. Once that process ID is found, there could be multiple entries. Then the page number has to be checked that what is the page number also matching with this page number over here. If the entry is found over here, now we know that this i which is from the base is giving us the frame number. If you see over here in this diagram, once we find the entry over here, we know that this is mapping to or corresponding to frame 2. So this I over here will be the offset from the base and this shows us the 
frame number because the page type table over here which has been implemented as an inverted page table is giving us information about each frame. So, i is the frame number which will be used to compute the address of the physical address, the offset will remain the same. So, i and d which is the frame and the offset together will give us the physical address which will be used to access the physical memory. So, we can see that this decreases the memory that is required to, need to store each page table for each process, but it increases the time which is needed to search the table whenever there is a page reference. One solution for this can be to use a hash table to limit the search to one or at most a few page table entries and for using the hash table also the translation look aside buffer which is the cache which is keeping a part of the page table can also be used to storing a part of the hash table and the inverted page table. To understand what is the translation look aside buffer you can check my earlier video on this.